Sus, have you ever ordered some shoes from Torrent? The packaging is obsessive. It's on some OCD type of shit. I mean, I kept pulling out more paper, then another paper, and then another one to drop on the floor. My living room is consisted of nothing but paper from this Torrent haul. Hey, boo! Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome, girl. So I'm going to need all the wide feet, big feet, long feet, flat feet, leaning feet, no arch having feet, all y'all to report to the front. It's about that time again. For the first time ever on this channel, your girl got her hands on some shoes from Tori. I can't wait to see if the hype is really hyping. They are known for wide width, extra wide width, catering to the plus size community feedback. And I'm with the shoes. In this video, I believe I got every shoe in a 10 or a 10 and a half. We gonna figure out together if it's worth that high ass coin. Cause they were a little pricey. They were a little expensive. We ain't gonna look past that. Before I jump into these shoes that your girl got, I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and thumbs up this video because I already know you're gonna like it. And if you're new here, well, hello, welcome. I hope this is not gonna be your last time stopping by. And if you come in there, boo, give me some. Girl, that's what that's with you. All the links to these items, my shoe size and measurements, the link to this wig, in case you was wondering where it's from. All the tea will be pinned in the comments and found in the description box. Girl, you already know I got you. I heard a lot of y'all is starting to get ready for fall, starting to get ready for boots and shit like that. I did keep y'all in thoughts when I did a little ordering. So you gonna wanna stick around to the end and see what I'm talking about. All right, boo, so my first pair of shoes is this white sandal here, this braided sandal. I personally love the whole braided detail, love the thickness of it. Everything about this shoe screams comfortable, even down to where your feet is. Like this is not like hard brick that I have your feet stanging by the end of the day. This shoe had some type of comfort to it. I also noticed that it had about this much. You know how we feel about this much. <clears throat> but in this case, it had about this much of extra room in the back, which I can appreciate. I'd rather have a little extra than to have my feet hanging off the back. I really hope you're not in them streets with your feet hanging off the back. They are definitely wide feet friendly. When I tell you my feet is just... And be... They got a mind of their own, be doing the gangster lean. This shoe gave enough shoe for all of my feet coverage. There's... Pretty great grip at the bottom. I mean, the shoes was a little pricey. Now, I ain't gonna lie, they were about $20 or something like that. But um, I'm gonna say it was worth it, okay? I imagine this shoe to last for quite some time. It ain't flimsy or none of that, child. None of that. Like these, and I needed me some white ones. The next pair of shoes are these black. You see all the damn paper that's falling from the, the bag? Just... It's these platform black heels. Now I'm starting to learn in my big age that I need support. I need and appreciate that platform. I notice in shoes when they don't have it, it really does some wear and tear on my feet. Okay, so when I try these on, honey, it feel like I would walk right out of heaven. Feel like I'm down to throw my life away. <laughs> yeah. It's like I was walking on clouds, walking on pillows. Literally felt like I ain't even had no damn heels on. I love that the screen was long enough for our big ass plus size cankles, calves, if you wanted to string it up. Love the width in this shoe, the space. These are a 10WW, which is a wide width, and I could appreciate every inch extra they gave. For really, really flat feet supportable because like I said, when you have flat feet, there's no arch. Your girl has no, not, not a nail. God skipped right over me when he was passing our arches. This helped me out. I can imagine wearing this for hours and hours and hours. They're like this suede type of feel. 
So you definitely gonna have to probably buy you some of that suede cleaner to kind of keep up with them. But honey, I would definitely get these in all colors. All colors. They had the grip at the bottom so you ain't slipping and sliding all over the place. Very, very comfortable. Highly recommend these. We gonna call these the work working women's shoe. You see what I'm saying? Just papers all over the place, chat. I thought they said that we was trying to do better with the trees and the papers and all that. I guess Tori didn't get that memo. So this here is the working woman's shoe, honey. I, I really, really, really love the whole gradient effect, ombre effect that they have on the heel. So it has like a spray painted nude and then it goes into that clear however you have to size the hell down when i tell you they run extremely big that's an understatement i wear a size 10 sometimes 10 and a half sometimes i be having a size up to 11 depending on how the shoe running i was able to get a size eight and a half and it felt like i was able to even go to an eight i know you surprised just as much as i was surprised these shoes run hella big I'm so glad I read the reviews because I can only imagine what I would have got. To my just boats, child. Boats, clown shoes. They're very, very roomy though. It causes it my foot to kind of slip out the damn shoe. Now imagine you walking, you cute, and then your ass step right out of your shoe. This strap here is removable. So you can wear it with or wear it without. But see me, I cannot wear it without because having the strap on, it kind of locked up my feet it kind of caged in the feet it kind of kept it at bay under control you know what i'm saying it made sure that my feet won 101 in the try on portion you'll see that the other one i did not wear the strap and honey that damn sh i had to really concentrate on keeping my foot in that shoe because it was about to get left behind who the hell made these measurements for these shoes i, I i'm not sure what that's about i just think that they're really really cute and classy Everybody needs something like this, I feel like, in their wardrobe and their closet. Especially for them days when our feet ain't feeting, okay? When them toes ain't towing, when we ain't got them done. <laughs> we all can use these type of shoes. I do feel like you're going to have to break in. You know, whenever you have this type of style, you got to break that shoe in. Because this has absolutely no support or platform at the top, it was a little bit less comfortable. I mean, I could make it do what it do, but I prefer to get those black ones in a beige. The heel height is not too bad. Not too bad. And the fact that it's skinnier surprised me because I wasn't expecting the support that it gave. How the hell I got two beige shoes, but here's the next one. This one here is more of that, like, what is it, like, plasticky look? Like that shiny... I don't know what you call that, child. This heel did the best that it could. I don't personally feel like these type of heels are for the big body gals. That's just my personal opinion. I don't even know why the hell I played in them. I guess I wanted to see. What I can say is these scraps were very spacious and allowed my feet room to feet. They were even a little loose. Can you believe that? Did you see how my pinky toe want to kind of slide and say what's up to you? The straps are puss slides freely. It'll go all the way around the cankle. This that shoe though that you can't have on for too long. You're going to take that picture and you're going to go ahead and take them off. You're going to have to carry the, the white flats with you. They went to start burning at the bottom. You know, y'all know how that we all have them shoes that be burning at the bottom of the. Mm -mm. I was like, damn, I ain't even have these on for too long and it's doing that. So imagine me having them on for about an hour. Yeah, no. These are definitely just take a picture. You got my picture. It look good. Oh, okay. And then you switch the shoes out. They're cute. They're cute. And if you can get past that burning sensation, then by all means, try to keep them on all night long. I live through you. What a lady is that that's living in the cold? That's starting to kind of get the wardrobe together for the winter and fall season. This particular portion of the haul is for you. Now, I got these boots in here, child. These boots was made for walking, honey. This definitely is giving Western, okay? I feel like I need to pull up to the saloons, honey, and, and get out there and do some damn line dancing. I love the little zipper detail here. I feel like that kind of amps up the look. This is that type of material, though, that if you kind of like ball your feet up too much, it'll crumble up up in here and then kind of ruin the material of the shoe. These are so big. I got them in a 10, I believe. 
And I was able to like just slip my foot in and out with no problem. I didn't have to zip it down. I didn't have to try to wiggle or none of that, honey. My foot went right on in and I had some great, great room. I barely even re remember that there was a heel on this boot. That's how comfortable it was. A lot of ankle room. Very, very plus size friendly. It was flopping off if you've seen it in the clip, so it definitely runs a little big. You might want to size down half the size. Would have been nice if they had like a little uh, adjuster for gapping, you know, the little gap that they had in there. But I guess because it's for wide feet, women, you know, it's like either you're going to take it or not. Which one we going to do? Girl, when I took this out of the bag, I immediately thought of Payless. You remember when you used to walk in the Payless and it had that little smell? That is the smell that these are giving. We're going to call these Payless. Now, who in the hell added these to my car? When I pulled them out the bag, I was like, now, wait a minute. Did they put this in the right order? I went and looked. I'm like, yeah, you did put them in the... I don't remember it being that rubbery material, child, like a rainbow feel. As soon as I took these out the package, it, I, it was giving Peppa Pig, child. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish, splish, splash, splish, splash, or some shit she be saying, child. I just felt like I needed to, me and my daughter, all of us need to go outside and just jump in some puddles. That's what that's what this is giving. Um, what I can say is that uh, the upkeep will be easy because everything will just roll right off of it, okay? Imagine you spilling some wine or Dropping the chicken wing on, you know, the sauce. So just wipe it on off. Get some and wipe it off. No problem, child. Won't even ruin the shoe. Not at all. They were so big, though. Did you see? I think I got these in a 10. Wide width also. Maybe I needed a 9. They are extremely wide foot friendly. So if you're looking, if your feet is really wide, boo, these are the shoes for you. I did like that I could just slip the shoe on and off. In and out. No problem. I'm talking about you walk on in, you know what I'm saying, at the house. You know, you stop at that door, take them shoes off. You, ain't, you don't even got to bend down. Just just shake it off. Shake it right on off and it'll flop right on down on the floor. That's how roomy this shoe was. This was a little bit too wide for my feet. And not even really my cup of tea anyway, but it does have the shoelaces. And it got that support at the bottom, child. It's that stump of each boot, okay? If you need to, you can stomp a mud hole in the ass. Because it's that heavy quality duty down here at that bottom. Mm -hmm. These next wave boots were giving. I didn't even realize until just now that it had this adjuster here in the back of the boot. Because I didn't even need it. Girl, it was so comfy, so roomy in here. I think I got these in a 10.5. I sized up. I didn't need to. I probably could have got a 9.5 actually. I was able to just put this shoe on. I didn't have to do no zipper down or none of that, child. I just had to take all that damn paper they had stuffed in these. But, honey, they are really, really, like, up to the knee, over the knee. Did you see that? All the way up to the knee. Very spacious. Girl, listen, sis. You know how our calves be calfing, our cankles be cankling, our thighs be thighing, and our knees, too. This shoe say I got all of that covered. I would get these in every color. I love a flat boot. Um, I don't get to wear them much, but I would definitely get these in black, like a burgundy color. The fit was bomb. Listen, sis, if you're in the market looking for plus size boots, this is this, this is it. That material, girl, feel that material, girl. That feel, now that, that feel good. The grip was at the bottom. I really think that these shoes are bomb. Let me bring out the Mary J. Okay. As in Mary J. Blige. Honey, this is my last pair heel, child. Ooh, it's the, what this is, like the crinkle type of boot over the knee with the heel. Because I ain't, I don't normally play around in heels. But, honey, when I put these on, immediately got into the, let's get it crumped on the front, on the, in this gym. We be got y'all open, now you open, so you got to dance for we don't need no hateration, holleration in this story. Let's get it percolated, violated. I just felt like I needed to do the little dance that Mary J always be doing on stage. She has to be getting her boots from Tori. Because the way these were so comfy, like I said, I'm not a heel girl. On top of that, it got the skinny ass heel too, child. The ones that they ain't going to be able to hold you up, not supportive at all. That's a lie. Tori said that's a lie. We support the big body bands. 
price, okay? This is the big body bands movement here, child. I f***s with Tory. Them prices is a little high, but I f***s with Tory. These boots really just amped up. My confidence. Girl, I can see me now in them down Florida streets. And there was so much room in here. I'm talking about room all up in here. Room all up in the ankles. The cankles, honey. The calves, honey. The knees, honey. Look, look how wide that is. Girl, look. You can put your whole damn face in there. Go ahead, put it in there. And smell it, child. That new boot smell. These are cute. I would like these in a little burgundy color. Probably black. I wasn't expecting Torrid to come through like they came through. Well, boo, we done came to the end of this haul. And you already know I want to know which item was your favorite. Have you ever tried Torrid shoes before or their clothes? I noticed they had clothes too. I was considering a Torrid haul, Chad. Let me know if you think I should. This was literally my first time trying their shoes. And now I can see why. Um, the hype be hyping. If you try their shoes, come in them comments and testify. Okay, because you know everybody go to the nail comments. Before you go, make sure you thumbs up this video. That lets YouTube know that this video needs to be in the YouTube streets for everybody to see. If you felt them good vibes, which I already know you did, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and subscribe. If this wasn't enough, honey, if the time flew by so fast, girl, bitch me. I got more to give. I'm going to link it up this way. I have more shoe hauls, more hauls to get into, child. It don't got to end here. If you made it to the end of this haul, be sure to put this emoji down in the comments. Boo, that's how I'm going to know it's real. I want to thank you so very much for taking the time out to watch my video. Until next time. Later.